Hi everybody, it's Shanna. I wanted to make a video in response to Sybil's um, video on how you store your markers. Um, I made a video a long time ago where I mentioned this box. This box my husband made, well he made the, the um, box, this, oh I hate this iPad, but this just it's just a square box. And then I made this little wire rack. And my goodness, it gets really dirty in there. My house is so, I don't know why we get so much dust. We don't live on a dirt road, but gosh. Um, and I saw this a long time ago on um, somebody's blog. And I don't remember who now. Um, but she talked about taking, this is like a ceiling tile that I got at the hardware store. And then in the corners... I don't know if you can see it. Um, trying to find the camera here. You take these big washer things to screw them in. And you have a pair of scissors that I store down there. And so the spaces in between are, I tried to leave spaces for the markers I don't have. Because my husband doesn't believe me, but I don't actually have all of them. So... Um, they do fit both the sketch and the chow. The chows fit easier. The sketch ones do fit. Sometimes they're a little hard to get in and out. Um, and then I do have like extra spots that I keep my spica. I keep a few spicas. And then I have some metallics. Um, and then I have over here the um, neon ones. And then this is just a um, generic set of markers that I bought one time. So this is in my room at the moment, but normally this box sits by my recliner. Because normally I color by my recliner when I'm watching YouTube or something. Um, I don't color in my craft room because um, I usually stand in my craft room. So um, I don't color in here very often. And my daughter colors too. She uses my markers and a lot of times she sets, she says recliner in our living room where she sets too. And so this is by our chairs. But in my craft room um, is this thing. I don't know. We found it in our attic when we bought our house. My husband found it when he was climbing. So it sits on the top of my desk and right here is all my distress markers. Um, because when I, if I use my distress markers, generally I'm just coloring a little image, so I will do that at my desk. Because then I have a little spray bottle right here. And then I do have a little bucket up here where I have a few. I don't have very many, because I bought all the ones, the Joann's you could buy, of Memento markers when they were on sale. Um, half price. I tried to get the ones that I have uh, Memento ink, so that if I fill in... Um, if I goof up or something. So that's all I have. I have Momento, just a few Momento inks. Um, and then my Distress Pad inks are right there with my Distress markers. So I do have a pencil case that has um, pencils. For the life of me, I've misplaced it, and I don't know why where I put it, and it's driving me crazy because I actually wanted to use them. And I can't find them, and it's driving me nuts. I just hate that when that happens. But Copic's by far my my go-to. Um, I do have this little bundle that I keep with my Copics of some more um, glitter pins. Um, I tied with some ribbon because I had nowhere else to put them. So they just kind of sit on top of my markers like that. I usually keep a book also in this little gap of um, what markers I have. I do try to keep... Um, washi tape on the ones that I have refills for. Um, so, especially if I'm coloring a lot, um, too. So, thank you, Sybil, for your challenge, your giveaway. Appreciate it. Um, thanks a lot. Bye.